Hello, thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I, Enchantress Steve Weber, on our evolutionary, revolutionary rise. I'm so grateful and thankful, I just have to say. Um, thank you for meeting me here so we can get into the swing of many things. So, um, welcome. Damn, 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 damn. damn. And then blocked from love. Let's just go right in, Bully Meat. And a secret lover. Abusive relationship. Blocked from love. Okay. Yay. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, hey. Hi, hi, hi. Emotional affair. Shadow work. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hey. Ay, ay, ay. Comic love, star cross lovers, rocking start. Is that be you? The fudge, you just came and fell right through. Okay, mix signal. All right. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I. I guess we're just gonna jump right in. So this video today is, what are you not seeing in regards to your love life? Emotional life, relationship status. So this is entertainment for your evolutionary entertainment. Do not make something fit. If it does not take with it as it resonates for you, this is for evolution, revolution, inner attainment. Okay. And so I'm going to be as general. I'm not speaking specifically to you. This is collective for whoever it's going to resonate with. So don't be like, oh my God. Right. Because I'm speaking to you, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> Either way. Um, what are you not seeing in regards to your love life, emotional life, relationship status? And then before these fell, I have wrote, the show must go on. You have to be your own truest lover. I don't know why that's a little floppy. <laughs> the show must go on. You have to be your own truest lover. With your absolute, okay. The show must go on. You have to be your own truest lover with your absolute best interest in mind. And these might be challenges that you might have, especially if someone sends mixed signals to you. This can be someone that you're with. This can be someone that you're in a situation with. This can be someone that you're friends with. This can be someone that you're interested in or whatever the case may be, but there's someone in your life that you're interested in um, or would like to pursue something more with, and that person is sending or might be confusing you with mixed signals, giving it a rocky start, even if this has been some time, okay? This is, remember, stay here. If, if this is not yours, understand that I'm gonna keep going in in other places. And so I'm not gonna be just traveling one space. This is a multi-dimensional place, you know? So it can feel like star-crossed lovers, but what I get here too, this karmic kind of love kind of lesson too, is this, this distorted um, conditioning of, Something must be true, especially if it if it pains you in some kind of way, or um, oh, like mistaking um jealousy, let's say, or um someone 
not wanting to hurt you or like just looking at something distortedly to excuse its 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 position right now it's like ignoring the the purple elephant in the room right it becomes abusive abusive not only to you but to the whole because it's like living in a false reality of illusion right in secret too see when you see this don't be triggered but it's just blocked from love right so you might be blocked from love and things might feel like certain aspects of whatever this is is secret too so it's like it's like so it was standing out strongly is mixed signals. So one of you might be seeking emotion. Emotion that the other may not be fully developed in. And so it's shadow work. Right? So it's like a leveling of emotion that is absentee. So you, this could even be a partnering, a marriage you see of someone. So this is like different elements getting together. This could be like air, fire. This could be like earth, no, earth, and water, kind of earth and fire, like materialistic love, right? So someone might be a little bit more focused on the practicalities of life and not like the spiritual or emotional investment of life too and that can put you at a, like like feeling a little bit unfulfilled honestly it can feel like like it's like no amount of money, no amount of gifts, no amount of all this superficial shit is going to fill, fulfill me when the heart is is what speaks here. So it's like, how many gifts can a person buy you? How many wine and dines you, right? And someone might even... It's the number of I don't know the relationship be kept a secret just be sure this decision is okay with both of you and not one-sided so you it's a this too could be something that's not out in the open it's not public or so for those of you are that are in a partnership but let's say it's a marriage and stuff like that it could be like one partner is much more spiritually advanced than the other and so the spiritually advanced one or you know emotionally advanced one might need a little bit more emotional fulfillment they might be provided for, right? They might be provided for and stuff like that or whatever. And then for some and not for all, but secret lover, like, um, I hope not, but you know, toxic love, yeah. So for some, someone might have a secret lover. Some of you might fear that they have a secret lover. And that could be from your own PTSD. And so you're, it's like, or it could be past life energy. But there's toxicity existing in the thought process in the mind that can make one feel like they're star-crossed lovers in this life. And brokenhearted. Someone might be so caught up in the material realms of existence that they don't even see how toxic their love is towards you because they're so focused on, let's say, finances or making everything a success that the missing component to disaster, like they don't see how toxic their detachment is.
Right, so like codependency. So there's like a codependency here, right? Where teamwork, yeah. So this could be a partnership. This could be, um, let's say divorce. Um, someone leaning towards that too, like separation. Or someone could be a divorcee. And so the teamwork and the codependency you don't want to be codependent either. But no, what I'm getting like really truly is that there's there's a feeling of um like a breaking up, like the show must go on. Like you have to be your own lover with your absolute best interest in mind. And if you're not healthy in mind, it's not like, oh, should give up on a marriage and all this kind of stuff, right? Because you should work together as a team, as a partnership, especially if you're married, you know what I mean? Like, this is the person you married, and if it's not toxic, abusive, like in the sense, like, you know, there's affairs and someone's hitting someone, like domestic abuse. And I'm not talking about any of that kind of shit, because that is some next level. Like, nobody should be in a relationship at that point, and everybody should be going to a therapist to get help and, and, and getting the help that they need so that they can be the most healthiest versions of themselves for love, partnering, and divine partnership. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not talking to, if that's your scenario, please, by all means, get the help that you need. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is like being, so this is what I feel. I feel like this is two different elements trying to make it work. Two different elements trying to make it work. And now it's like, you know how like when they say the honeymoon phase is over? So this is like when, I'm looking at you different. Now I'm looking at you like what I dismissed or allowed before. I'm only continuously evolving, right? And this is what you want. You want your happily ever after, which you're stepping into your happily ever after, but that requires you to be a whole level hell of an honest with yourself in regards to the soulmate experience, right? because your soulmate will come into your life to challenge you and help you grow. It will be an undeniable connection that is transformative. So there's a transformation wanting to happen here. And look, there's like new romance. And this doesn't mean necessarily a new person, but it's, it's opening the portal to new love by identifying the stuff that you're blocked from. Because if you don't identify, how can you transform it? How can you you make it different for you? How can you shift it, right? So it's our energy. Keep watching all my videos. We keep talking about this energy because you gotta be on your energy for your energy. And that's too here, especially in love, manifesting love, wanting love, wanting that happily ever after, that healthy, wealthy, selfie. That requires a level up of self-commitment and also accountability awareness and present day um attention paying attention right so new romance and opening of a door and for some this too could be letting go of an ideal or person you have in mind that you have been so codependent upon to make it work or working together on other kind of things but absentee or there's just something unfulfilling about it. Come on, you got to be real with yourself. If there was nothing unfulfilling about it, you wouldn't be thinking about it. The fact that the cup, the cup it doesn't feel like it spilleth over, that's enough reason for you to question and get to the bottom and learn your truth about how fulfilling something feels like and then also futuristic wise can this person be trusted down the line or will you have to worry that they're not having a secret love affair that they can't be tempted so also parental love is coming up here so there could be a parent-child kind of dynamic role in, in this relationship. Learn how to meet your partner as an equal, right? Um, and stuff like that. So see, and then this thing, who's playing who? So you might feel 
like so it's like it's like a sex with flame soulmate so it's like i i swear that's what i feel like i feel like it's like two really challenging aspects it's like when i talk about my daughter and myself i don't need to bring that up in a, in a romantic kind of study but like blocked from love yo look at that shit it's coming up again there may be emotional baggage from the past blocking you from true love it's time to release it go watch my froggy video if you can't figure out an absolute solution for yourself then you know move your body do the do what I'm doing in the video or go and do I didn't do the yoga pose for frog in there but I was doing I was leaping right but the act in itself and 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 the meaning and the deeper meaning it has just by those acts that I do and the physicality of my body too releasing stuck emotions and my thighs and all this kind of stuff like let's get into the the program of Okay, I can't help myself in the mentals, but I can help myself in the physicals. It's gonna help me in the emotionals and the and and the mental realm too. All right, I gotta make moves. I gotta do this. I gotta I gotta do that. Right to to push this energy forward. Right, and so I just feel like it's like like so I was saying about my daughter, where air and fire and air and fire get along and they can be great and all this kind of stuff. Like all all elements can get along. But the challenging aspect, so now it comes like like perception and view. When we're both in a state of emotion, yo, it looks completely fucking different. It looks so different. It's polar. Opposite. And it's cute when fun connection, right? Because you want a fun connection. Right, you you want to make it fun too. So you also relationships don't have to be so serious. We make it so serious. We personalize everything, and um, meanwhile, it could be like a friendship that's growing into emerging to something more. And one might be way more advanced than the other, and the other one's not quite there yet. And stop making it so serious because you're only blocking more so from love. Right, have fun with the connection. Right, have fun because you have the potential of being this power couple. Remember, there's different energies here, and so I'm gonna keep on looking for marriage. So now I guess we're moving on from that other stuck energy, okay? Moving forward, okay? So in this energy, right? Mm -hmm. Summer time scale, because it's shifting. I'm getting a whole different energy right now. <laughs> getting a hole on a pedestal. Or it could be intermingling. You find where it, it, it intermingles, right? Hey, you find where it intermingles. Hey, right? so someone too might have you on a pedestal, right? You have the potential for a power couple. You see, but like blocked from love. I'm still thinking it again. And then the devil in the sky is shadow work. So you know what? Okay, so this could all still self love and stuff like that. So it's it's kind of like you're on the way for this power couple kind of dynamic too, right? Um, but it's like saying, have more fun in this connection, stop taking everything so seriously and 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 find the self-loving component to the shadow work that's happening here because it's triggering for all involved. Oh, what's happening here? It's triggering for all involved. But look at, I'm gonna look at the bottom of this deck. Someone sees you as the world, right? here true love feeling sacrifice all for love so someone too right so you may have or this is just feelings hey that's too dark for me but hold on i did that oh so oh oh so that happens right lights out so that could be it too, right? And then when I looked down at the floor, I did not see that this had fallen from before, settling in love. So are you settling in love with whoever this is for? If you're not being emotionally fulfilled, right? And let's say it is due to different elements and all this kind of stuff. And let's say like the reality check, like it's marriage, settling in love in a marriage. Right, let's just start having fun. So this is just such a mixed 
tone, like those stuff. So for some, the advice is start having fun. It's not a settlement. Start just opening up the connection to explore each other's elements in different ways that you want to further expand because your union is here to further expand and make this harmony that we all seek in the world to have because you're the energy, especially if it's you who's here. You're on that evolutionary journey. So therefore, all that you create is on this evolutionary journey. So don't settle with the ideas and love that you have about your connection too. Like it doesn't have to be so um, black or white or cut and dry. Like it's just understanding each other from a, 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 a love perspective, smooth sailing when you do. Smooth sailing when you do, right? Sacrifice all for love, passionate admirer, right? igniting those passions, living in harmony. And I'm sorry that this is coming up here, but some of you, whomever this is for, watch out for a love affair, or that might be the fear. Or do you just want another affair? Like, okay, I know why that's coming up. I can't help who visits here. Okay. So take a romantic trip. So it doesn't matter where you are going. It's who you have beside you. So there is a light of fire, lights out. So there might be two energies interfering with the mix and it could be conditioning. It could be a way that one is thinking about something stubbornly, holding on to to stubbornly too, but many have discovered fire, but women discovered how to play with it, like a fire, right? Queen of the ball, because you're the queen of the ball, whether you're male or female and stuff like that, it's you who lights up the room. Think and live like a queen, right? A royalty, a queen or king. A queen is not afraid to fail, right? Failure is another stepping stone to greatness, right? So you might have romantic feelings for someone or be in a romantic relationship and the elements are are needing to be learned and worked through. That's like earth and air too. Earth and air, air and fire, water and water, different signs of elements of water. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Air and fire, air and fire, air and fire have a lot of work to do together. And so it can feel tumultuous, it can feel chaotic, it can feel like, like air spreads fire, like a blaze, a blaze. <laughs> And it might be an annoyance, an annoyance to the patience is needed always, especially for great men. Happy marriage. That's what you want. The best romance is inside marriage. The finest love stories come after the wedding, not before. And that's what you have. You have this utility and childbirth, this opportunity at growth because there's true love here. So that's what I fear. Beware of the devil, right? And the devil can play with your mind and play you in that way where you, an angel who makes you cry is better than a devil who makes you smile, right? And this could be also in the way you think, right? This could be in the way that you think about something. Now, this is true if you're single. This could be that you don't feel like you're going to ever find love blocked from love, right? Block feelings, block feelings of love. And so therefore you don't find, right? Because you're blocked off in that. So there's a happy marriage in play for you. But that's, that's, that's 
And that's something else I wrote too. We got to meet power with power. You got to get on your energy. So love is a power. You got to meet love with love. Love is a power. You got to meet power with power. We got to take a journey into our inner space, real temple of Jerusalem. Stay away from tortured foodos. That was something else. But DNA cellular memories. And then the key I wrote, staying positive on the inside, not just on the outside. So staying positive on the inside, not just on the outside, especially when being tested within a relationship or within the environment that's creating one. Your perception is going to be key to everything and your energy is going to determine a lot of things. Beware of the devil. Okay, so engagement and wedding. You don't marry the person you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. Wow, that's deep. So for some, it might seem like, especially if you're in the outs with someone or it's just not where you want to be in the depths with someone. So it's like having a possible um, potential lover not meet you quite there yet whether you're with them or not they're not they're not or you know and and being asked to work through those kinks creatively Permit. So there's some wounding in love. It's being asked, asked to, to, to be worked out. So it's like making a deal. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's a compromise. It's finding the compromise in a loving way that is beneficial for the all involved, right? Coming from your truth perspective, right? Earth, ace, new beginning, new potential, new opportunity to be lifted above all this shit, head of air, right? And look at Cinderella out there. Didn't I do a song, Cinderella is dead? <laughs> Like Cinderella is dead. So having someone too, and the way that I'm seeing this too, here this divine feminine energy too, and this doesn't matter whether you're male or female, this divine feminine energy is here. Like, mm -mm, you're not meeting me in my emotional space, my emotional place, my cup is overflowing and I give it so much and it's time that I receive it. So it's time that you meet it me here where I am you see how high up I am now that you have to look up because when I was there by your side you were just over there overlooking my 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 greatness the 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 duality the the partnering that was happening here and it took me to raise my own standards to build myself up to have you now come with the shoe saying hey to have you now come the emperor Come, excuse me, ma'am. I know you've been waiting for me. I'm here now, but look at how fucking cloth he is still. Armored. <laughs> right? King of Earth. Took his fucking time. Right? And so it's like someone wants to get to you. So look at this too, because look at how I'm looking at her now. She called them in. So that's what you're doing. You're calling your divine counterpart, whether they're here in your life or not right now, in. Right? But your energy has to match that call. Whew. Do you hear that? 
your energy has to match that call. If not, do not call. Because you don't know what you're bringing back in. So this leveling of awareness within you now is to get you in your alchemy of alignment with energy. I want my energy to match my external call because I am calling, I am manifesting, I am creating, I am living the life that I desire, I inspire, I have. And so she called him in. And as slow as he once was, he heard that call. It's the final call, lights out. It's when you're like, I'm done. But not, it's the energy, it's not, I'm done, but you. No, it's, I'm done with this cat and mouse, with this fight and flight, with this PTSD, with this strife, with this stress, with this mental mess, I'm done. I know that I have everything I need. I get everything that I want. And that love and this that I give, I have. And it just takes away the whole rest of it. When you sit in absolute content, my cup is overflowing. And I'm okay with the outcome, whatever it shall be, because I am, I am content and I'm happy and I have all that I need and I get everything that I want. So if I know this, I show this, I glow this, I grow this. And it's with confidence that I know this. And so therefore it is. So more it be, so more it be, so says la vie. And then, ah, what have we here? The king who took his time. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. But you gotta be on that energy. You can't just say it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. That's what it is, and that's how it is. And still care. Because then you'll be hunted out there. Mm -mm. Look, you'll still be hunted. So it's like, oh shit. My ass is out. Hold up. Let me strategize. The only way is to heal, to go in. The only way in, the only way to win is to go in. The only way out is in. The only, the only way you're gonna win is if you go in and make it again. What are you doing here? Ah, I've come. It was a challenge for me to come. But I heard your call, High Priestess. I heard your call and I felt your power. And I feel your power too. You have tamed the beast in me. True magician. And it's strong. your power is strong your magic is strong your energy needs to be alchemized in the full empress-like magic that you are where you reign supreme because look at at the altar that you are at the throne that you be love comes on their knees surrendering saying please don't do away with me i surrender Thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I. That was fun. Till next time.
when you get on your energy and you truly release, go get in your froggy leaps. Be like, oh, you want to play with me and my emotions too? You want to be on some different kind of element? All right, I got something for you. I'm going to act like a frog and I'm going to leap. Leap, leap, leap. I'm going to link that video too, just in case if you don't know what I'm talking about. And leap your emotional release. And know that you're doing everything in your energy to be that energy on your energy and to be on that grind, to be on your rise and to be in that align, alchemize all the motherfucking time. Period, point blank. And be clear about that, what you want. Get real specific. But get specific after you sort out those emotions in your energy so that it matches with the external environment that you're wishing to create with your energy and your words of power that are spells that you're casting into the universe. Because remember, energy is energy. It's not reading your words, it's reading your energy, energy. Okay? Thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in. Till next time, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe. Um, thank you so much for, um, your support for subscribing. We're almost at our um, next thousand plus subscriber live party where it's craft live with me. I tell you to bring your crafts and stuff like that. We craft live together to chat, there's giveaways. Um, let me buy you a drink and all this kind of stuff until we reach our 10,000 subscriber goal. Woo! Um, make sure to watch all the other episodes too, like, um, or, and, and to subscribe to my playlist um there's the, the enchanting musical 333 playlist there's the silver moon playlist there's the evolution blog playlist and there's a jeffrey Dahmer playlist that i didn't even finish <laughs> because i said again it was whatever i should just give a closing statement but whatever the case may be i took notes for it i just like ah, whatever when it got real um hollywood at the end it was just like what's fact what's fiction what's freaking Netflix. <laughs> but either way, um, yeah. So yeah, let me know what you thought about this reading, how it resonates with you. The more that we connect, the more that I can tap in, turn on, tune in for you specific too, instead of being so overly general. You know what I mean? Um, the more you engage, the more we get to set the stage and that kind of ignite and wave in every kind of way that is evolutionary, revolutionary for us here, because that is the type of energy exchange that we have going on here in healthy, wealthy, stealthy, prosperous, abundant ways, right? Power, affirmation, activation. I have everything I need. I get everything that I want. No weapons formed against me shall ever motherfucking prosper. I am divinely lit. I am divinely guided. I am divinely protected. And that is just that. So more to be, so more to be, so so be. And that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So till next time, I love you. Thank you so much. Also check out the community board as well. You can follow me on Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S. -S. The community board. Come say hi over there too because I, I post over there as well. Daily funny memes and all this kind of stuff or, you know, life stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. And I'm um, al alchemistic poetess on TikTok. That's A L C E M Y S T I C P O E T E S S. That is me, Alchemistic Poetess. Select them. Bye. <laughs>